Welcome to this course on Mastering Ansible. My name is James Spurring. I'm an IT professional with over 15 years of experience working in a variety of technology fields, including internet technologies, automation, software development, enterprise storage, and Unix administration. I hold an MSc with distinction from Liverpool University in Computer Science, Information Technology. Professionally, I have done work for a variety of major organisations. These include Nomura, Goldman Sachs, Hitachi Data Systems, Dell EMC and Virgin Internet. I am also on the advisory board for Storage OS, a company that has developed a container-based storage solution. I am an active open source contributor and am also the creator of XML Dataset a Python library featured on the awesome Python list under HTML manipulation. Course Overview This course is split into six sections. In section one, installation and configuration of Ansible, we will cover the different ways of installing Ansible on major operating system platforms. For Linux, we cover installation on two popular flavors, Ubuntu and Red Hat CentOS. Ubuntu is a widely used Linux platform, both in the community and within organizations. With Ansible being a Red Hat product, we also cover the equivalent installation process on Red Hat CentOS. For those who are not familiar with CentOS, CentOS stands for Community Enterprise Operating System and is a system that is functionality compatible to its upstream commercial source, better known as RHEL. Red Hat Enterprise Linux. The process that we follow on Red Hat CentOS can therefore also be applied to Red Hat Enterprise Linux for those of you who are interested in running Ansible on Red Hat Enterprise Linux. In this section, we will also cover installation of a control host for Mac OS X and options that will allow you to use Ansible as a control host on a Microsoft Windows system. In section two, Ansible architecture and design, we explore the Ansible architecture, taking a close look at modules, YAML, facts, templates, and the creation of playbooks. In section three, we take our playbooks further with Ansible playbook advanced topics. Here we will delve further into the use of available modules. We'll use dynamic inventories, We'll look at parallel execution and asynchronous execution, conditional execution, task delegation, and magic variables. We will also look into storing data for later use, the encryption of data using the Ansible Vault, and finally, creating our own modules and plugins. In section four, structuring Ansible playbooks, we will learn how to effectively structure our Ansible playbooks making use of roles, includes, and tags. In section five, using Ansible with cloud services and containers, we will use Ansible for real-world automation through the automation of AWS and Docker containers. Finally, in section six, other Ansible resources and areas, we will cover our final areas of Ansible. This will include troubleshooting, validating testing, best practices, and upgrading Ansible. So please join me in section one, installation and configuration of Ansible.